couldn't happen to another uh, peed up professional wrestler than J.C. Dad. Rafe running into the ring and off. Uh, and Mama Lou taking an opportunity to get out of the way of the charging Jimmy Rave. Oh, the crowd getting on uh, Mama Luke's case with the Where's My Pizza chant, which he hated so much in ECW, pretty much broke up the team of the FBI. The last thing he wants to hear is this pizza gig again. Mama Luke telling Rave the man is going down tonight. We've seen Rave go down in innumerable amount of times, but damn it, he always gets back up. Tony Mama Luke shoves Jimmy Rave. Jimmy Rave is taking his time off in between the national television tapings. Been on a light road schedule. Actually, hasn't been on the road at all. Been at home resting in between television tapings. And uh, the ribs are seemingly healed up, although I don't think they're 100%, probably about 90. But nevertheless, he's back in wrestling shape, and that's a good thing when your opponent is turning Mama Luke. Mama Luke pinned Jimmy Rave after using a chain in a tag team attraction a couple of weeks ago on NWA Wildside. Rave challenged Mama Luke to this match. They also had a backstage altercation that was never shown on Wildside television. It was very abrupt, and they ended up in a shoving match and a shouting match in the locker room. These two got a lot. A lot of heat in between one another, and uh, this should be one hell of a matchup. Yeah, if there is a lot of heat between two opponents, the best way to settle it is in a professional wrestling ring. And Mama Luke and Rave are two of the very best junior heavyweights in the business, and we got them this week on Wildside. Mama Luke's drawing the line there. Rave shoots in. A little amateur wrestling here on the mat. Well, Mama Luke is a, a student of that, of course, along with Jeremy Lopez, graduates of the Malenko Dojo in Tampa, Florida. Along with his occasional friend, Jeremy Lopez. Problems between those two. Whatever it's convenient. And they're roommates, too. The crowd obviously behind the original XTC, Jimmy Rave. He folks have never been behind. Young Tony Mama Luke. Mama Luke had some kind of complex. Yeah. Saw an interview that aired on Wild Side Television. And he's just, just bitter over the whole deal with professional wrestling in general today. And of course, you know, the World Wrestling Federation being the only major market entity. And he's just got some very hard feelings about losing his job in WCW and ECW. And he expressed those hard feelings on Wildside Television in an interview. Man, this guy's got a chip on his shoulder the size of Italy. He's definitely one salty guy. Uh, he feels the, the entire world of professional wrestling has done him a great disservice. And he's going to take out a lot of those frustrations on athletes such as Jimmy Rave. This week on NWA Wildside. Quite a momentous week. If you got a VCR, better get that baby creased up. Your main event this week, AJ Styles, the phenomenal one, taking on David Young in a rematch of a couple of weeks ago here on Wildside. Match, of course, no time limit. Big rematch. And once again, since we don't have one, we have an hour on this show. If for some reason that's still going on after the hour is up, we will bring you the conclusion of the match the following week here on Wild Side. Big back suplex by Tony Mamaluke dropping Jimmy Rave right on his gourd. And young Jimmy Rave, he's in a world of hurt. Big thumbs down there by Tony Mamaluke. Looks like he was going, oh, look at this. Reverse double underhook. And a Nagi Sateru position drops him into a face buster. A show of strength from Mama Luke. He suddenly even got a chance to show even in his ECW days. He pulled that baby off here with Jimmy Ray. Still not enough to get that elusive three count from referee Speedy Nelson. And I tell you, Jimmy Ray, he's like everybody's kid brother here in Wildside. He's just very likable. Everybody wants Jimmy Ray to succeed. And it's almost when you pick on Jimmy Ray, you pick on the entire Wildside locker room. Uh, as relates to J.C. Daz, and well, J.C. Daz now serving time in a correctional facility. Oh, it's a Jimmy Ray, Jimmy Ray, he connects. J.C. Daz serving time in a correctional facility for running Jimmy Ray over in a car. Full Nelson, oh, Full Nelson into a face punch, a beautiful maneuver by well, Jimmy Ray. I wonder how Daz looks in stripes. Jimmy Ray hooks it. Look for the gravity killer, he slipped. And a right suplex by Tony Mamalu. That's the price to pay when your vision is somewhat obscured through that maneuver. You don't quite know where your legs are, and sometimes you pay the price. 
Mamalu clutching the back of his neck. What, oh, what on earth? It's, I know what Kid Ecstasy's been doing ever since he lost the Loser Leafs turn match. Kid Ecstasy, he's delivering pizza. And he's delivering pizza in a match with Tony Mamalu. Oh, Kid Ecstasy. Look, I know, Mamalu, you don't want to do this, Ecstasy. You don't want to do this. Oh, God. This is not good. Mm. Mama Luke going to town on Kid Ecstasy. And that pizza. And Mama Luke's going crazy on, on everybody. Mama Luke is going ballistic. Damn near ballistic. Here on the floor of the NCW arena. This weirdo is snap. Well, I saw this coming. That pizza chant drove him crazy anyway. Now somebody actually showing up delivering a pizza. That's just too much for Mama Luke to take. Oh, God. Mama Luke is just going to town on on Kid Ecstasy. Jimmy Ray, we're taking it the, the Wild Side Security trying to take it. Mama Luke, Mama Luke is damn near frothing at the mouth. He's going nuts. Take that guy out of this here. This guy has snapped. Man, we, we, we saw that coming. It's a, and the end result of the match, obviously a double count out. But it looks like the uh, piece of delivery career of a uh, Kid Ecstasy uh, took a quick turn south here. Ladies and gentlemen, our official decision of this contest, a double countout.